Does art actually come from suffering and mental illness? That's a question that humans have walked around for probably all of human history. Some researchers wanted to find out, is it really true that artists tend to have mental illness? What they found is not encouraging. You may be familiar with Van Gogh. Didn't he cut his own ear off? Or one of my favorite artists, a writer, Franz Kafka. He did also paint. But he had an awful lot of anxiety and depression. So a group of researchers decided to collect data on world-class artists, as well as scientists and athletes. They wanted to know if you could actually correlate someone's profession with the likelihood of having mental illness. They postulated that having a high degree of mental unwellness would correlate with a lower amount of creativity. And you can see it peaks over here a little bit, but they still wanted to consider someone who is mentally well as being a better artist. And apparently if you just have a little bit of unwellness, then it you don't do well. They found that around 60% of artists on record did have a mental health issue, mostly depression and anxiety. If they postulated people who are not formally diagnosed, but could be seen as mentally ill based on their behavior, they ended up getting 83%. 83% of artists have something like depression. Interestingly, the least mental illness was found in the sciences, 30% of people. Which still, to me, sounds like that is higher than the general population. Athletes were also a little more likely to suffer. There's a few things we have to consider here, and that's that someone who sits in a room creating things is going to have a different psychology versus someone who can work a day job. We also know that art, good art, tries to pull from our experiences. It tries to connect with what it is to be human. In order to do that, it is probably easier if you have some experiences. If you haven't felt those directly, it's going to be awfully hard to write convincing characters. Ultimately, you would be operating from a place of cognitive empathy, the ability to understand what others are feeling. Look, I am not saying that you have to be unwell in order to create art. I'm saying that there is a very high correlation between having mental illness and being an impactful artist. A lot of that art, but not all of it, comes from a place of immense grief. Many of these artists actually did their best work when they were recovering from another incident. Being profoundly mentally ill does make it very hard to accomplish things, to do things. The suffering artist is a trope for a reason. Let's be real. If you want to create something that discusses profound human experiences, it's going to be hard to do that if you've never had those experiences. I think what we're really seeing here is people who have gone through an immense amount of hardships and then took that and turned it into something beautiful they could share with the world. And that's a better story than you need to be mentally ill to create art.